All right, we are going to learn how to export from Premiere. Just to make certain that you guys know exactly what it is you need to do. Again, I don't want you to think, oh, Mr. Panetta, going over things that we've already gone over a dozen times before. This is just me. You're, you're doing this for me. Literally, you're doing me a favor. It just makes me feel better knowing that you know what to do so that way you don't have any questions and you're not sitting there confused. So here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. So I have my animation. Oh, it's very loud. Uh, we have our animation. Everything's done. I'm sure you made something beautiful, um, poetically gorgeous. And the first thing we're going to do is see that there. this is probably going to be either yellow or red right there. And that just means it needs to be rendered. So the first thing we do is sequence, render into out. That's it. Just render into out. Let it render. So that way it plays at perfect resolution, doesn't have any glitches. Everything plays nicely. Okay. I'm not going to make you wait for this, so I'm going to cancel. But you would wait for that to be done, and you're going to see that this bar is now green, and it means that you are ready to export. And once you're ready to do that, make sure that you click on your sequence. There should be a blue bounding box around your sequence. If you click on File, uh, Export, and this is grayed out, it's because, look, I selected accidentally my source window, or I selected my tools window. I have to be on my sequence. So I go to File, Export, Media. Yay. Now, I have options here. Most likely, what you're going to want is to export this out. And this is probably what is already going to be there, because it's what we've always used before. Uh, you're going to want to use H.264, which is the codec for MP4s. Okay? And then in terms of... Uh, match source, high bit rate or medium bit rate. I've always told you guys to use medium bit rate. And the reason being is this, um, there is not to me an enormous quality difference between high bit rate, or high resolution, and then this medium resolution. To me, you watch the video side by side, yeah, you can bear, to me, you can very barely tell the difference between the two. But what is different is if you look on this high bit rate here, it's 111 megabytes, right? File size. Not a humongous file, but you know, it's whatever. So if I change the medium bit rate, it goes down to 34. So you're cutting it in like to a third, and that just makes putting it on YouTube, uploading it to Courseware, uh, it just makes everything much easier if it's a smaller file size. So I always say medium bit rate, okay? Make certain you choose the output name, desktop, choose your folder for the project. I'm gonna name it. Project Amazing Stuff. Uh, uh, and then I typically almost always put the date on the file. I do that. You do whatever you want. Um, I, and so I'm going to save it. Okay. So that's it. Once it's ready to go, I look down. Everything looks fine. Everything's good. And then I just export it. Look, and now it's exporting. And now I have my file, which is going to be an MP4. And this is how you're going to turn in your final video files. Okay. Um, that's it. Now, some people have asked me about this in the past. Is if I don't want to use MP4, I prefer to use an MOV file. That is a QuickTime video. Uh, the difference between QuickTime, uh, an MOV, and an MP4 is that an MP4 is more compressed, makes a smaller file size. Um, but in getting compressed, it's lower quality. A QuickTime video has a much higher um, video size, or I'm sorry, much higher quality than a MP4. But it also equates to a much larger file size too. So that's why I've never had you guys use QuickTime. The only time that you're gonna want to use QuickTime is when you want to export out something with Alpha, which we will talk about, um, or maybe you already did. I'm getting time confused. Uh, if you want to export out something with a transparency, which we will or have discussed. So that's it. Export, done, final, good.